everybody into the Big Rivers Conference team. I'm on. All right, here we go. Okay, all right, all right, we're fine then. You can just tell the people online that the fence situation will be, re will be rectified once <laughs> the game starts. All right, all right, yeah. It's not. It will be in a second. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, there, there it is. So you can sit and see the power then here? I guess so. You got it on the scoreboard. Yep. So, which is right there. Perfect. Let's see. I appreciate you. You're back. Oh, there's a stuff flying everywhere. <laughs> Where's the rocks? So the inside of my brain looks like. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Big Rivers Conference Varsity Softball. The Eau Claire North Huskies have traveled about 60 miles east to River Falls to take on the Wildcats. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Got a couple uh, guest announcers today, and uh, they'll be taking you along, and uh, we should have some fun times here in the next 90 minutes. There you go. I'm ready to go. Let's ready to go. It. Pull that right up to your mouth. You're getting talked nice and loud. There you go. All right. There you go. I'm going to give you a little more volume. There you go. Oh, <laughs> careful. Why don't you introduce yourself to your to our uh, potential six billion viewers on planet Six Earth. billion. Yeah. I was prepared for seven. Seven. Shoot. <laughs> uh, Leah Fletcher, I've coached a handful of these kids. I teach at the middle school. I'm excited to be here working with Paul. Paul's coming up here getting situated. Well, here's Paul now. I'm going to turn the reins over. So Leah and Paul, as I like to say in the broadcast verite, take it away. Take it away. Well, if everybody could just uh, have the lingo that Kevin Westhouse has and the technical oh, man, abilities to, uh, to hook everything up, we would, uh, we would all be in business. I was trying to write out a lineup card uh, for the announcers. Um, I think it's uh, Harper Shears is down there. She's going to be doing announcing. But Love that. Uh, so did you already bring up who, uh, who we're playing, all that stuff, Leah? Listen, Kevin did all that for us. He did all the hard work. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> And he did it. He did it excellently. And Kevin does it so fast. <laughs> he he probably wasn't sure who we were playing, and he probably just looked out and he said, "Oh yeah, that, that's North." Yeah. yeah. He knew. He knows it all. No. So well, last week. Uh, you know, Greg Peters, who really, um, you know, organized setting this all up yeah, for absolutely. the softball team, was here. And, uh, and he, is, he is right in the same boat as Kevin Westhouse. You know, he just walks in, starts talking, <laughs> and, uh, and makes it a fun day right off the bat. Absolutely. Okay, Kevin, we'll see you later. Text me if there's problems. Don't, don't type it in the chat, please. <laughs> I have the chat up here for us, so. But, uh, yeah, I think Greg is on his way down to It's going south. I don't Louis know where he, okay, Louisville. 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 Yep. He's headed down for he a. He said, uh, we'll be listening. I'm like, well, don't, don't critique too much. But uh, so this will be the second meeting with, second. Uh, with North. And, um, you know, last, the last game was uh, really not, not, a, not a bad game um, for most of the game. I think it was what? Uh, I had six to one. Was the final? Yeah, six to one, and they scored three, uh, three in the last inning, I yep. believe. Yep, that's um, what it looks like. But uh, so we were we were sticking with them, um, and maybe you want to talk about their pitcher a little bit, Leah? Oh man, their pitcher's a stud. Um, she's committed to University of Missouri, Kansas City, so she's going to be a KC Rue next year. Um, they're good. They're in the Summit League. She's she's got a lot of spin. She spins the ball really, really well. She's got a good changeup. I was watching some of her film, and she's impressive. Yeah, I would say probably the best that I've seen for a while in high school. Yeah, I um, think she'll. I think she'll be the top in the conference this year. She had 94 strikeouts last year alone. Well, according to the last game, she only needs about four <laughs> more games, and she'll be at that. So I don't know if yeah, Leah mentioned that, but we had uh, out of 21 outs, we had 18 strikeouts. 18 strikeouts makes a tough game. 
Um, the one thing that I picked up watching that game, um, and I was you know pretty close to behind the plate, uh, her first pitch was uh, what I would say high in the strike zone. Okay. And I would say 90% of her second pitches were change-ups. Sure. Um, and that first pitch comes so fast, especially when it's high, yeah. that uh, you know it throws you off balance right away. You're like, holy cow, how am I yeah, going to catch up to that? Yeah, especially she's spinning it well. Like, what am I going to do with that? And then uh, her catcher did a really nice job. Um, pretty much the next couple pitches setting up on the outside corner. Okay. And, um, and she would hit the mitt like there was – you know, no tomorrow was yeah. one after another. And, you know, from my viewpoint, um, which in my old age, I am trying not to judge any umpiring. Sure. It's all hard. It's yeah. all hard. But uh, I would say um, quite a few of them were just a little bit outside. But she was hitting, you know, the catcher so accurately yeah. that it that it looked perfect. Sure. I'll be curious to see what sequence she goes with if she sticks to the same pattern of back and forth, like you're saying. I, I've heard her change up is deadly, though. I heard she does a nice job with that pitch, so we'll see what happens. It was uh, hopefully they've prepped for it; they can adjust to it. Yeah, well, I mean, as you know, a changeup is is yeah, one of one. the <laughs> hardest pitches to learn because it, yeah. it's hard to mimic in practice. Absolutely. I mean, it's their job as a hitter to be on time, right? It's their job as a pitcher to make you off time, so it's a battle. Finishing up the plate meeting here. Hopefully, covering all the ground rules where the. Holes are in the side of the fences here. We got some weird gaps, but get playing here shortly. And what do we got? Uh, I'd say the wind looks like it's pretty much out of the northwest. Um, I don't know, 10, you suppose 10, 12 miles an hour maybe? Yeah, maybe. So it would make it seem hard to hit out in center field. Yeah, she's blowing in. But, uh, and the other thing I'm, I'm kind of noticing, it, um, you know, there's a few more sh people in the, in the stands rolling in, but Saturday for our game against St. Croix Falls, um, there was absolutely no spot to sit behind well, home awesome. plate anywhere, and there was probably, I don't know, I would guess 50, 60 people sitting up on the hill sure. over there by left field. So that was a lot of fun to good. see. It's good to see that growing every year. I feel like we're getting more and more people out here. Yeah, and I think I mentioned this last time, but if you look down over on our, uh, on our far bench on our dugout side, um, a bunch of the eighth grade girls who will yeah. all be uh, who will all be coming up next year. I've seen uh, them at every game I've been at, which yep. is awesome. Yep, absolutely. And there's a bunch of them down below us too that are going to be announcing the yep. game, running the music, doing the announcing. Looks like we're coming out for the anthem. I'm sure those eighth graders are running that as well. Yep, I actually I think seventh grader. Seventh I think graders, Harper huh? Harper Shears, uh, oh, Coach yeah. Shears' yep, daughter, right. is doing it. She actually. <laughs> even joined us on the broadcast uh, last week. She nice. she got tired of announcing and wanted to get into the real action. <laughs> um, so it's kind of fun to hear her. That's awesome. So they're just uh, announcing the, um, the Eau Claire Huskies um, at third base, leading offs number 19, Madison Pond. At first base, number five, Megan Statiford. At first base, Madison Parker. Or no, first base, geez. At pitcher, Madison Parker, the girl we mentioned, number seven. At catcher, Grace First, number 17. Playing center field is Cadence Henderson, number 18. Designated player, Kaylin Hansen, number 14. Number 10 at shortstop, Claire Grunna. Number 29, Lindy Haller in right field. Number 3 in left field, Taylor Pressler. Number 11, playing second base, Adelie Matz. And now your starting wild wide lineup for your Riverfalls Wildcats. In center field, number 24, Lily Burke. In center field, number 24, Lily Burke. Catching tonight, number 23, Jordan Torres. Playing catcher, number 23, Jordan Torres. At shortstop, number 22, At shortstop, Jordan, number 22 Jordan Schwantz. First base, number 11, Mo Kibble. At second base, number six, Georgia Bankston. 
At second base, number six, Georgia Bankston. Uh, number 14, at third base, Ava Larson. At third base, Ava Larson, number 14. Number one, Audra Aderman at pitching. In left field, number 25, Danielle Pellinger. In left field, Danielle Pellinger, number 25. Number nine, designated player, Meredith Emery. Number nine, designated player is Meredith Emery. In right field, uh, number three, McKenna Cook. And in right field, number three, McKenna Cook. Please remove your hats and stand for our national anthem. Now we're going to have the uh, national anthem. Well, so that was the national anthem, and uh, there might have been a little mix-up on like how to get the volume up on that. While the girls were warming up, the music was so loud I could hardly think. Uh, that was tough. <laughs> so they must uh, they must have turned her down. I thought Leah was going to break out and sing. Um, Not today. Maybe yeah. next time. Maybe next time. So obviously the uh, Wildcats will take the field first. See, we got a little bit different lineup than I'm used to seeing with this team. I think there's some girls gone sick or something. We got some changes in the field a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Um, it looks like uh, Danny Pellinger will play number 25. Will be playing yep. left field for the first time. Uh, McKenna Cook in right field, number three. She has uh, she has played uh, right field. I've seen Danny and, and McKenna both play right field, but usually we have Alexis in left, so she must be out today. Yep, I think so. Berkey's uh, she's the leader out there. She's the, the senior in the outfield. Definitely, she'll uh, tell him what to do. Yep, she will. Definitely, she does such a nice job out there. She covers a lot of ground. She knows exactly what she's doing. I think Kevin Westhouse might say she's fast as a cat. Yeah. Something creative like that. Something like that. <laughs> He'd probably have something for her. She, uh, she's all over the place, man. She catches so many balls out there. I think in one of the games I coached her, and she had six or nine outs by herself in center field. I can believe that. Their coach was eventually like, can we, can we hit it to <laughs> anybody else? Like, pick somebody new. Because she just she's got range. Yeah, without a question. And she is going to Concordia next Concordia year. Concordia St. Paul next year, yeah, which will be exciting for to follow and watch her. Well, this will be a little different. Last time I just had to stand here and say about two words every four or five minutes, and uh, this time I'm actually going to try to do the book and oh talk. Oh, boy. Okay, um, let's do our best here. Greg is listening. I can see him on the comments here. He's given us a thumbs up so far, but that might change, I suppose. It's a good start, huh? Strike one on the first pitch. So who is their leadoff, Paul? Uh, Madison Pond. Got it. 
Looks like she let off for them last game as well. Yeah, it looked to me like the, the beginning of the order at least was very similar to, sure. to last week. Or last Tuesday, I guess. That was just a little bit outside. It's a little low from here, but this is a tough angle to see some of those things. Yeah. We'll do our best. Oh, shoot. It's a tough read. Yeah. Long hit ball with the, with the wind, um, aiding it a little bit, uh, kind of pushing it back. Absolutely. Now we know. Yeah. So we got uh, a double. Absolutely. This looks like Stanford coming up, their first baseman. Yes. Bunt attempt. They had uh, they had a couple nice bunts on Tuesday sure. too. So he's that question when that lefty gets in the box: Are they going to straight up swing on me? Are they going to bunt? Are they going to slap? Kind of being prepared on off fronts on defense there. Oh, oh, she has a nice shot to right field. They're going deep. Hit the fence. Well, kind of a rough start uh, right off the bat with back-to-back -back doubles. Puts one across the plate for Eau Claire North. And uh, Madison Parker up next. She's the pitcher and also uh, a very good hitter, uh, the way it appeared last Tuesday. Yeah, she rakes from what I've heard. Yeah, and I would say I would say most of their damage was by their. Probably first four or five hitters, okay. which is pretty normal. Sure, especially at this level. It's an important thing for the pitcher to know too, right? Like who's going to be your best battle, who shouldn't beat you, kind of sizing up their lineup. And Audra's a, is she sophomore this year? Sophomore, yep. Sophomore, so she's got a lot of that learning still, and she's adjusting well this year, I think, to being their ace in the circle. Yeah, last year was kind of a, a, a good – Learning year for her, um, you know, really kind of just got to they got to pick and choose when they when they put her in. Um, had a lot of fun, but yeah, now yeah. probably a little bit more pressure this year. Absolutely, but she's adjusting well. I think she's throwing the ball um, hard. Good communication by the Wildcats there, cutting that ball off. Um, so that was another single. We had three hits in a row. We got runners on first and third with no outs. It'll be interesting if they get uh, one up the middle to, to Schwantz or Bankston if they, it looks like they're playing back, so it yeah. like they're going for two, not, not, not home. I can respect that early on in the game, get the outs. Yeah. Give your offense a chance to work. Runner goes, fake by Torres, doesn't go down the right decision with that girl not having such a big lead. Hitting the corner there on that pitch. Kind of losing my train of thought. I'm not marking down the balls and strikes uh, right away. I know it's a lot to keep track of getting kind of set up up here. Excellent setup with, with Kevin up here, though. Nice play by Sh oh, oh, shoot, we dropped it at first. Nice play. Yeah, that was a, a good ball out of, the, out of the gap there. Good throw. Another run scores on the drop ball at first. Runners at first and third again. Bunt action, sacrifice. Oh, she made it. Thought maybe she was just bumping in the runner. He did end up calling her out. Oh, he did? Yep, he did call her out. Oh, okay. I had thought she dropped it for a second. I thought he called her safe. She's still on first. Oh, I thought she came off. I apologize, you're right. Well, three runs right off the bat. And, uh, you know, I would say... The first, uh, the first few 
three games of the season, we played super solid D. Yeah, um, I would agree with that. And, uh, you know, we had a couple right there. We really could have two outs. Yeah, that makes it tough. As a pitcher, you know, you if you're not throwing for strikeouts, it's a lot easier to just have your defense behind you. And they've done a nice job of yeah. that all year. So hopefully we're just having some hiccups and we can recover here. Let the offense go to work. It's a good pitch. It's a good frame job by Jordan. So Coach Smith just called the the defense defensive play for the who to cover what on the bunt. Oh, another hit. That's a tough spot to feel the ball right over the second baseman's head, kind of falling in the gap there. It's a solid one. So we got bases loaded and no outs. That's correct. Hoping they can work out of a work out of a jam here. Forces anywhere, which helps. Defense still back. Yep, our innies, innies are playing back a little bit. I feel like some of our outfielders have also moved back a little bit, took, took lessons on those first few pitches. Yeah. Which is good. Two balls, and I don't think either missed by too much. But no, doesn't look like she's missing much. He was calling a little bit more on that outside, she, then she went kind of inside. So we got a 2-1. Oh, I forgot to announce this is Claire Gruna, the shortstop. Is that 3-1? Three 3-1. One? Three one. Yep. No room for her, so I'm hoping she comes back with a couple here. So one will score. We got another one coming in to the plate. Jordan cuts it off. So that one scores two. Oof -da. And we still have no outs. Correct. So we got five across already. No outs. A little bit of a jam to work out of. So got runners on one and two. A little bit of room, but hope for maybe a, an out on this play. We got a foul ball by the right fielder, Lindy Halder. Got a high pop fly over to right field. Crosses the fence line there. Play. Call that a long strike for the pitcher. Yeah, so we got 0-2 count. She doesn't hate that right now. 0-2, a little 0-2 execution, that's important. Nothing too close. It's a good pitch, that's a good spot for that one. Make him think about it. Who's calling for Audra? Is Jordan calling or is Ryan uh, calling? A coach calls it and coach then I calls. think Jordan signals Relays it. Relays it, sure. Hit, hit to center field to Berkey. I have all the confidence that's an out. Yep, that's a, that's a good out. We needed one. We sure did. That'll get us started. Now we could hope for a nice double play ball here. Wouldn't surprise me if this girl bunted. I think she squared her own quote a bit Tuesday. That's an excellent prediction. Grab that, Jay. There we go. So we got two outs, runners on one and two. We got five nothing. Yeah, and this is the uh, last last border uh, batter in their order here. Full tip. This. No, I think this is their leadoff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're back to top here oh, shoot. with Madison flex, Pond. Flex player. Right? Yeah, that DP flex will get you every time. I've written a lot of these out. I haven't, <laughs> haven't done one. It's hard to multitask. Where I had know? to be precise. I understand. She gets her swing in. So we got 0-2 on the count. What's she going with on this pitch? Uh, I would say outside. Outside? Outside corner. Right? She went high on 0-2 last time. 
She gets her swing in. One, two, three. We'll take that. Ooh, we needed that. It's a gamble, but it paid off. So we'll go to the bottom of the first, down by five. Yeah, and I would say uh, we, looked a, we looked a little shakier than, than we have. Uh, they started off with a couple really nice hits. First, yeah. first two batters had really two nice hits and the third batter. And then we had a two airs in a row and then another hit. So we've got one... One, two, three, four, five hits. Five sure. hits, two errors. Five runs on five hits, huh? Yeah. Well, let's hope that our uh, one, two, three punch here can come in with some offense. The nice thing about the top of the order is it's all seniors, it's all captains, it's all experience. Maybe pass down some of what they're seeing to the rest of the lineup. It's always helpful. And I hope I'm uh, as uh, able to predict the next thing as I was the bunt. Um, I would say this umpire has a little tighter strike zone than what sure. I saw Tuesday night. So hopefully that helps our hitters out yeah. a little bit. It's always important to know those things, right, or recognize those things. As a defense, as your catcher and pitcher can kind of share that with your offense, here's what's being called, here's what's not being called, and then use that to your advantage in, in the batter's box. Absolutely. Knowing what you're looking for and knowing what they're going to call as a – as a strike. Well, this pitcher, Madison Parker, can certainly uh, can certainly bring it. She can. She spins the ball east-west. She spins up-down. She's got a good change. She's got a lot of tools in her toolbox, that's for sure. And where's she going to college again? University of Missouri, Kansas City. So it's the only D1 in Kansas City. She's They're the Roos. They're the kangaroos. They okay. go by the Roos. So. I think they have another girl. I think maybe their first baseman is committed to Eau Claire. I know they have another girl on their team who's committed, um, but I didn't do all of my homework to define which one it was. I'm pretty sure it's their first baseman. Yeah, saw that pitch a lot last yep, week. Yep, yep, that little outside corner. Yeah, Berkey leading us off, though. She's pretty solid in the batter's box. Straight back foul ball. I mean, she's right on it. We like that. Yep, that's always my theory. When you are when you follow it straight back. Straight back's the best foul ball you can have. Without a doubt. As a pitcher, you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> right. That looked like it was her changeup. Yep, that was her changeup. Lily sat on it, hit it right back at her for an out, but yeah, clearly I came in with a little bit of prep and a little bit of plan, and I think she executed all right. Yeah, yeah, a little bit harder, maybe not yep. that easy bounce. It might be squirts past the pitcher for a yeah for up the middle hit. Not lunging out on a changeup is a win in itself, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we got. JT in the box now. Yeah, see, no, he. I, I guarantee you, Tuesday yeah. night that would have been a strike for so sure. He misses. She misses just outside. He doesn't call that one. Paul, can you tell where Jordan's standing in the box? Is she further to the front of the box or the? I can't back? see her. It's hard to tell, kind of from here. Sometimes with a, with a pitcher with spin like that, if it's breaking late, try to attack it in the front of the box. You can hit it before it breaks. Yeah, problem with her is she throws so hard. It's yeah, she throws pretty quick. <laughs> she throws pretty quick. Too much. For sure. Sometimes you just got to trust it. Pick the lesser of two evils. What's harder to hit, right. the speed or the movement? Yeah. The movement, the in my movement's opinion. <laughs> the movement's <laughs> so harder, yeah. I would, I would try to hit it before it breaks. So we got 2-1 on the count here. Battling off some pitches here. She's looking for her pitch. Well, I like that we're uh, up there taking some rips at these anyways. Yeah, she I, wanted that. I think we were, we were a little bit more hesitant Tuesday night. For sure. So that's good. 
it's not a surprise to them now. They, they have it dialed in. Ooh. It's a good hard swing. Yeah. Follow the third baseline. I'm sure uh, Coach Smith is a little jumpy down there after getting struck by a, a ball off of Schwanzi's bat. Oh, boy, did he get hit. I can't imagine how that felt. No. She is. She hits the ball hard. So it does Jordan. So yeah. does Jordan Torres. So that would have hurt us as well. Yeah, the one Schwanz hit was hooking so hard. I knew he couldn't He couldn't tell which There's way to move. nothing you can do about it. Your body doesn't let you move <laughs> into it, and that's the way, the only way he had to go to not get hit. Right. And then I saw her next at bat. He, She went towards him again, and he says from the third base coach's box, you're not coming to my next birthday party. <laughs> right. Some of the stuff he says is just absolutely hilarious. It is. It, he, he has a unique way of keeping kids engaged because I don't think they ever know what he's going to say. Exactly. And he's just so wonderful. Like, he's a great guy. Yeah, without a doubt. No, that, this is something right here that I've seen that I did not see Tuesday night. You know, you saw that last pitch, two and yeah. two, catcher set up on the outside corner. She hit the glove, um, like I mentioned before, didn't sure. get the strike. Now now she's set up more in the middle, um, pretty much right down. Attacking the, the zone right, a little bit more. Yeah, she's right down the pipe now, knowing that, you know, she doesn't want to walk her. Yeah, relying a little bit more on her, on her speed. Jordan's here for it, though. She's ready. She fouled off another nice one. Looking for the pitch she wants to hit. Nice. That's a very quality at bat right there. Yes, it was. Gets us a base runner. Got one out. Schwancy behind you. That's that's high level. Like last game, she only walked two people in the whole game. Oh wow. Yeah, she seems to have very good control. So we got Jordan Schwantz stepping into the box. She's going to Mankato State next year. She's going to play some softball down there. Ooh. A little inside strike action there, huh? Yeah, it seems seems hair high, but we don't have very Schwanzy's, good angle. Schwanzi's not worried. No, she's still swinging hard when she's got Absolutely. two strikes. Oh, hit by pit. She'll wear that one, get her base on that. I feel like that kid is just as tough as they come. She Physically, <laughs> like she is just so strong. Yeah. Typical, typical Schwantz look. Absolutely. I know all four of their kids Absolutely. really well, and, and and every one of them has the same look when they get hit. <laughs> They're like, I wanted to bat. Yep, I wanted to hit. This doesn't phase me. I'll take it. But at this stage, we need you know we need runners. We need base runners. Yeah, she's she stood in there and took it. That was a that was definitely a team at bat right there. Un unselfish. Mo Kivel, number eleven, our. Uh, our first baseman just took a rip at the first pitch. Yeah, that was a good hack at the at the first pitch. She's attacking. I think they've picked up on that. She's throwing first pitch strikes, and there's there's a good chance to attack that one, which is good. And Mo's a sophomore this year, right? Yes. She played yep. a little right field last year. Yep, played moving, right field. Moved into the infield this year. That's where that – you can see some of the experience who – and the inexperience identifying a changeup, right? Like yeah. I think she didn't see that one quite as early as maybe the first three could see it. But she's I think she's batted cleanup every game this she season. Has. Yep. Yeah. So that's a backwards key for Mo Kivel. So that's two outs. Two. We got runners on one and two. Brings up Georgia Georgia Bankston. Yep. Georgia Bankston, number six, Our second, second baseman. baseman. Sorry. No, God, you're good. <laughs> I would let Leah see my uh, scorebook, but I wrote it out. <laughs> She's a school teacher, and uh, I do not want her to see my penmanship. That's all right. I decipher sixth grade handwriting all day long. I, sh I think I can handle it. We got a, a shout out from Greg Peters. He says the camera work is outstanding. So our camera guy over there, Steve, is doing an excellent job. Keeping you all in the action, which we appreciate. Well, I've done quite a few things with Steve, and uh, he doesn't do any of them uh, less than 99%. Perfect. He's went into it. Went over to his house uh, the other night to uh, build a stand for him to stand on, and he, he did it all in about a half an hour. I mainly just handed him screws and drank beer. I love it. Oh, nice cut by Georgia. That's a good hack.
She got her chasing on the outside corner. She wanted that pitch. Broke just a little bit too late for her. So Wildcats go down. One, two, three, four, five batters. Uh, we had a, uh, a hit from the, to the first baseman, uh, or to the pitcher. That was our first out. We had a base on ball, then we had a hit by pitch, and then we had uh, two strikeouts. So Wildcats come up with zero in the first. So it's 5-0, and you know, hopefully we can settle down out here um, in the field and um, you know make make all the plays we need to. Audra is, uh, you know, she's going to try to throw as many strikes as she can, not not give any free bases, and and uh, you know that's that's kind of the design. Um, Absolutely. And uh, you know, hope hope we can hope we can make all the plays in the field. Hopefully, they, yeah. Hopefully they're coming out a little bit less shaky and they're working through the lineup the first time, having good conversations to come out bottom of the second. Still attacking that, attacking at the plate. I don't think they went down in a timid way. I think they came out ready to make some effort and attempt to get some runners across the plate and fell a little bit short, but yeah, so we better than going down one, two, three. I don't think we're going to have 18 strikeouts in this game. I think no. they've made some adjustments, so it's good to hear. So we have uh, the number two batter here in the second inning, Megan S Staniford, uh, the first baseman. If my sources are correct, she is going to Eau Claire North next year, or Eau Claire um, Blue Golds. She's going to be a Blue Gold next year. Start off with a with a strike. We like a first pitch strike. Always working ahead of the count, just being more efficient. That one pops out of Jordan's glove. Must have a little bit of a little bit of spit on there. Yeah, and I think it was higher than what yeah. what it appeared to us. Yeah. Um, you know, Jordan had her hand up in the air. I was I, I actually didn't think it was that high from sure. this angle. As a catcher too, sometimes you're expecting one thing and pitcher throws another and you're like well that's <laughs> not what I was prepared for but right. we'll make it work so we got a 2-1 count here oh solid hit to, nice hit. to right center there Miss Judge Berkey's got it in her hand. Runner's looking for an extra base. She gets it because the tag's not in time. So that is uh, two hits on the day. Two doubles on the day. Yeah. They're looking for extra bases, too, where they can take them. Our outfielder's got to be prepared for that. Got a pop, pop fly up. coming back towards us. Well, we got a first strike. That helps. That does help. Again, always good to start off that way. Ground ball to the first baseman. Flips it to Georgia. Nice play. She moves the runner to third, but we do get the out, which is great. That was a, uh, that was a, uh, you couldn't put that spin that on a ball no. if you tried. Yeah, the English on that was a little bit crazy. It started heading, dribbler. heading right to Mo at first base, and by the time it ended up, it was uh, more in line with the second base. <laughs> yeah. and Morgan made a nice play, and Georgia Bankston was over there, which is. Uh, it's good movement. Yeah. yeah. She's played second base for a long time, I feel like. She knows exactly where she's supposed to be in that position, which is nice. I think and she nothing phases her. No, I think she was born on second base. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think the. Uh, the umpires just t overturned the call. We had the Eau Claire North coach coming out to ask for help. Mm. The home plate umpire is saying that she did, in fact, pull her foot. 
really hard to tell from up here, so. So now we got runners on first and third. Runners probably on gonna first steal. and third, yep. Most likely, Coach Smith has probably given him a first and third play. This is Grace first, the catcher. And I think she hit a ground ball to the shortstop last time. Is that, okay. is that the one we bobbled? It could have been. I think you might be right, yeah. I'm going to remember that forever. Leah Leah just said she thought I was right. Uh, Paul, you <laughs> might be right. <laughs> I said might. I, I do think there was a clarifier in there, but I think you should I, take it. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> but I was a little nervous. Uh, Leah has been around uh, softball forever. It is, it is my favorite game. I will say that. I believe he just said a one-two count. Is that correct? Boy. You got me all distracted with <laughs> saying you were right. I lost track of the count. Well, it's definitely two strikes. Yeah. Yeah, one-two. I didn't expect her to ask for help on that play, but it was definitely the right move, I guess. Frustrating for our defense, I'm sure. Yeah. Runner goes on a wild pitch. So we got runners on second and third here. Got a 2-2 count. Still doing all right. Jordan hustles back there pretty well. High fly ball, Berkey. Catches it in center field, runner tags up. So one will score, but we also got an out out of it. And the girl at second base takes up on the hit or the pop fly also. Now we have Candace Henderson. Their center fielder? Yes. Ground ball to Schwancy. Like a vacuum all day. Got her. Oh, nice try. That was a good attempt. She, I do believe she was safe, but yep. it's always exciting to be helpful. Yep. So you got two outs, one across. It's good to see that next play mentality where they're getting the out looking for the next play. Absolutely. I feel like this infield is, is pretty solid. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think Schwancy is kind of, you know, an anchor at shortstop there, and Jordan Torres behind the plate. She does such a nice job. I always love watching her. I don't know how she folds herself into those positions being as tall as she is. But watching Ava Larson at third base, she's grown a ton in the, in the year that I've, you know, since last year to this year. Yeah. And she's young, and Morgan's coming in. I think she's the newest infielder, but it's not like she doesn't have an experience from last year, so it's fun to watch. One and one. Is, it, is that one and one? Ball. You're yeah. right, you're right one again. Ball. <laughs> you better stop that. I'm going to go back and watch this. <laughs> oh. Another ground ball to Schwancy in the gap. She's getting that every time. Makes an effort from her knees, not quite not quite in time. Definitely a hit. Right into the right into the hole. Absolutely. Jordan made, made a nice attempt and probably not the uh, quickest runner. Um, so I think she thought she had a shot at her. But I do. Uh, but it didn't get by her. No. Which is good. Not giving away extra bases. She's going to protect that. That was close. That was on the outside corner. She's trying to work there. Called this it a ball. Be the shortstop, number 10, Claire Grunna. Starts off with this one, 2-0. Looking to work back here. There she got her swinging. Yeah, this would be a good out to get. Yeah, it would be. A little bit, little bit of a slower runner at first, I think, so we could have some time up the middle. Little foul ball. Jordan's trying to find it, but it hits the fence. But that'll give us another strike to go 2-2. 
I just all of a sudden felt the weather shift, and it got a little bit more chilly as the wind blows here. It did. Nice. Better swinging. Easy throw down to one for that out. It's good heads up by the, by the batter, but even better heads up by Jordan there. So the Cats give up two runs. We had a leadoff hit. Um, the next play was the one that they overturned. Um, I think we had a drop ball on that kind of funny squiggly ball. Yeah, and we that had, had some spin to it. Fly out to center and the uh, Schwancy to Mo Kivel. Ground out, another hit, and, uh, and then a K. So we give up two runs. Well, and one thing, if you watch these YouTube uh, shows, um, you know, Greg, uh, Keeley, Jeff Johnson, all those guys, Bo, um, are really good at, at calling out the, the sponsors. So without the sponsors, this wouldn't happen. Um, we have, uh, obviously, First National Bank is the overall YouTube sponsor. They, they spend um, a lot supporting this. Um, and also for softball, we have uh, we have Team Cud Realty Property Executives, uh, so thank you for uh, your support for these broadcasts. And then we also have Johnny's Bar, uh, Dave and Cheryl Dentman, and their kids. You can see them; they're a uh, they're a, a big supporter of youth softball um, for years. Have uh, have supported the the youth program. It's always helpful when there's people going towards a common goal, supporting the the kids in their sports. Yeah, so we have Ava Larson, uh, sophomore. She is third baseman. First pitch comes in high. Ava lays off. I was out here a little bit yesterday listening to some of the stuff they were talking about. Anything above the hands, we let it go, and which is excellent advice, and they practice that quite a bit. So it's nice to see her lay off that. She's going for that outside corner. It's a good attack. That's the right pitch to attack. Brings a 1-1 one, one pitch. Just gets her swinging. So we got 1-2. Yeah, fun thing about Ava, and actually just a, every kid on this team are all just great kids. Yeah. Um, you know, I coached Ava since she was eight, I think, and uh, sure. I've probably said three sentences to her, and, and she said one back. Um, she's a quiet kid, but yeah. she's a workhorse. Next up is uh, Audra Aderman, the pitcher. Um, this will be her third official at bat, I believe. She's uh, most of the games she's been somebody has been hitting for. I was gonna her. say she's usually our our flex player. Yeah. I think she's feeling right at home in there. Oh, she's excited. I All can right, tell. perfect. I can tell. She doesn't look like she's uh, ready to watch. We love it. But we'll see. Takes the first one low, so. She's, remember when we talked about those straight back foul balls? Yep, Pitchers yeah. don't like those, Let's but hope. she's feeling it. She's ready for it. You see, I even see Audra's, uh, one of her godparents down here from Hammond, Wisconsin, Jen Hendrickson, uh, scooted on over to watch the Look game. Look at that. She got a good one where she's in the batter's box and in the circle. So we got one and one. Got one and one. Listen, Paul, I can't <laughs> say you're right for three times in a row, okay? <laughs> she sits on the changeup, hits it foul. She recognizes it, which is huge. Get rid of it, get a pitch you want.
pitcher's checking her checking her card to deliver the pitch. Oh, I think she swung at a high one there. She did go up in the zone on her. She got her on the swing. So we got two strikeouts in a row there. And up comes freshman Danielle Pellinger. She's playing left field tonight. Danny's been, uh, she's been super aggressive, which is, is nice to see. Yeah, Tap, absolutely. There she goes right off the bat. Hey, I'm okay with attacking that first pitch. She's put it in the zone pretty much every time. I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah, and I think the coaches talk to him a lot about that. And, that's know, good. Let's get after the first absolutely. pitch. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, she's still a good pitcher. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, she's still going to work, work you in the box for sure. But it's always good to have a plan, and if that's part of your plan, I don't think that's a bad thing. No. It's crazy to think about Danny being a freshman because I had her in class in sixth grade. It's just like she can't be a freshman already. Means I'm getting old, Paul. Oh, yes. She lays off on the low one. So we got a one and one. She has not been coming back with that second pitch change up. Yeah, she did early on, but she has not gone back to it. I don't know if she's just not feeling like she's throwing it well or if she feels like she's probably attacking the bottom of the order with her speed more than anything. Yeah, I would agree. Three and one. Yeah. Three one. Two outs, no base runners. Looking to put somebody on for Meredith Emery, who's on deck. Nice cut. It's a good cut. Yep. Parker looking for the payoff pitch now. Well, she certainly doesn't ever look nervous. No. As a pitcher. No. I mean, she's, she's very she looks, poised. She looks as confident as can get. She's pretty consistent. Takes a sign, throws the pitch. You're not going to shake her. Nice. Good contact. Hit to the shortstop. Safe. Calls her safe because nice. there's no possession at first base. We'll see if so we, we have any questions on that call. Yeah, I couldn't see the first baseman. Did she bobble it? She kind of trapped it. It was more of a, a trap than a bobble, but I don't think he ruled it complete control for an out. Based on what he was signaling, obviously, sure. that's a, a prediction, but... Yeah, Meredith, we'll take it, Meredith, base runners. Meredith Emery batting for McKenna Cook up here next. She's a sophomore. Okay. I also had Meredith in class. Good kid. Inside. I've seen her do a little bit of DP in this year. Yeah. Yeah. And she's uh, she's been she's been taking some healthy cuts. Good. Her dad uh, and her mom, Scott and Kirsten, are down there. I coached with Scott for, boy, I don't even know, probably eight years in a row, sure. I think. Scott's a heck of a volunteer. Um he not only coaches the uh, good the girls, he also coaches his son Will in, in baseball. So he okay, was running, busy be guy. running between two, and then he uh, he coaches for the the Falcons uh, football team, who had a had a great year. So oh he does gosh, that in the fall. Yeah. yeah. So he he had a fun. Uh, he's got a fun life, but a busy one. Absolutely. Does what he loves, though. Got to respect that. Calls a strike that she thought about swinging at. Well yeah. Looked a little bit on the outside corner, but. Maybe an okay one to hold on. I wouldn't let her throw it again if I was Meredith. <laughs> right. I'd probably take a hack at it. Yep. Being that, that there's two strikes. That one just a little further outside. She holds, so we got a 2-2 two -two count. I would say she's throwing a lot more pitches. Uh, Madison Parker has than sure. she did Tuesday night. Yeah, I think they're making, them work, making her work just a little bit harder, which is good. Good hack. Let's strike out. So we had uh, three strikeouts in the inning, and uh, Daniel Pellinger reached on an air on the first baseman. So the Cats come up with zero runs again. So they're behind seven to zip. Can you find the River City Stitch one? I can. I can do that for you. That'd be great. Just changing. I'm behind. Greg would be disappointed. Behind on our innings here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think Sorry, of Greg. that one. Sorry, Greg. We can't all be you. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I don't think Jenna could take two of them. <laughs> we'll take about, we could talk about River City Stitch there for Yeah, so River City, River City Stitch, um, screen printing, embroidery. Uh, you know, uh, they can do just about everything down there. Also located in Prescott. Um, so thank you for your support. Um, definitely, uh, definitely you can get anything you want. Uh, Stitch it on. I think I even had a baseball, old baseball coach, a coat that my son played on, and I took it down there and said, hey, can you put a softball sticker <laughs> over this? And she kind of looked at me and laughed, and she said, well, it'd be better if you bought a new one. And I said, but I kind of like the shirt. Yeah. It's good and worn in. And she did. She she put it. So instead of saying RF baseball, it said RF That's softball. Awesome. She does such a good job, and her turnaround time is always so good. She's always been so accommodating. We've brought ideas to her when I was still coaching, like, hey, can you, do, can you make this happen? Yeah, sure. What do you need? So... It's always good to have those kind of people around sure. and sponsoring our squad nonetheless. Top of the third, and we're down 7-0. Got to get a little bit of offense in action here. After this inning, hopefully we can make it quick. I'm not sure if I have just a bigger head than everybody else, but or I have a junior size headset, but <laughs> mine is, uh, my, I feel like. Uh, well, if you have a junior size headset, I want to trade because <laughs> mine's kind of big over here. Maybe <laughs> I just have a junior size head. It's probably more likely. That's a good pitch. Got yeah, a this is two one count here. Lindy Haller, the right field. I'd like to, I'd like to pitch to her. Oh, she catches around the corner. It goes 2-2. Two, two. She's humming. What would you say Audra's strikeout pitch is? What's her go-to when she's up in the count? Oh, I'd say a high. I'd she say, likes to throw that I'd high ball. I'd say high, yeah. There yeah. it is. Gets her swinging. And, and you know, and this is, it's been a judge, a judge, how do you say it? Uh, an adjustment. Sure. Uh, you know, when Audra was playing in the 14U and that, yeah. um, she could throw it by a lot of people, yeah. and she could throw that high fastball and get them to swing. And, and you know, there's there's a lot better hitters up here, and she's yep. she's only in 10th grade, but uh, she's definitely up for the challenge. She loves it. That's good. Yeah, it definitely elevates once you get to this level and keeps elevating, right? Like, you're never going to go backwards. Right. So you got to kind of look it in the face and take it on. This girl's going to hit a, a gap shot. Nice McKenna play. McKenna Cook is going to make a very good play in right field. For nice. A catch. We'll take that. Yeah, Kenna made it, got a nice jump on that That's ball. That's a great read. That's a great angle. She held on to it. And, uh, you know, and that's the number nine hitter, and that's uh, that's a key person, getting eight Absolutely. and nine out, not letting them get on for these big these big first four. Yeah, keeping they can people off the bases here for the top. It's important. So we have two down. We got the leadoff hitter, Madison Pond. She had a double in the first inning, and I believe a, well, she had a double and a strikeout. Okay, well, <laughs> let's hope for the second. Let's go for the ladder here. I was, I was looking at the book, and I'm like, well, holy cow, <laughs> but uh, like yeah, I said. Yeah, she led off with a double, and then Staniford came over and doubled to score her, and then the second time around, I think she struck out, like you said, right? Yep. Hard ground ball. Just left off side. the end of Ava's glove, it looked like. Kind of hits the 5-6 hole there. Danny throws it in. We'll get her back in the circle. Go at the second batter in the lineup. No, this is uh, Megan Stediford, and she has two doubles on the day already. Um, and I think she did some serious damage uh, Tuesday night, too. Okay. Looks like she had Looks like she had one hit, one strikeout, one base on balls. It must have been a big hit. I must remember. It must have been. <laughs> it also looks like their pitcher did some major damage. She had some she had three hits in her four at bats. So So we got O two here? O two. O two execution. Nothing play too with it a little nothing bit, right? Too nothing good. too pretty. We can't have that off the plate. I'll take that. Tried it in the wild pitch. Runner goes to second. Puts her in scoring position, which isn't ideal, but she's still ahead in the count. Her defense is working well behind her.
Well, she was being a little, trying to be a uh, worker on the corners there, a but uh, now we got a full now she's count. she's got to work back in. More central go right at it. Hoping for the payoff pitch here. That was up. Walks her, but gives us forces everywhere, which is helpful. One, two, and three. I think that's, is that her first walk? You know? I don't remember. You have the book, I sir. do have the book, and I'm not seeing any. <laughs> But I, I got think a it might be. I got a lot of scribbling going on here. That's good. Can you read it? Not really. No, we just pretend. She's got a little ball in the dirt here. Gets by Jordan. Runners advance to two and three. Hoping to shut him down here and try to work back on offense. I keep peeking down at the, the chat on the f YouTube feed here, and I just see Greg, and I, I know he's listening. <laughs> Hopefully he's he's being positive, which is nice, but I'm sure he's ready to get back. I think we uh, – I, I looked the other day, and I think there was like 450 views for the game we did that Saturday That's against St. Awesome. Croix Falls. I was, I was 50. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple. I kept losing service and having to bring it back up because I was – um, over at my brother's house, and he kind of lives in the middle of nowhere. But, yeah, it's good to see the views grow, right? Like, this is just – River Falls softball has grown so much in even just my short time here. That was four balls? I don't – No. I, I don't know that I understand what he just called. That was interesting. Yeah. I think he's going to – I think Coach Smith is wondering what he called, too. I did not catch what he was calling. We got two outs, bases loaded. Sh I believe she just entered a pinch hitter. Yes. I did not catch her number. We got two outs. First strike there, so we got number one. Well, it looks like seven. Eight. Seven is still on first base unless it's number one. We got one at the plate here. Yeah. Seven but they, on first they base. So they didn't enter a – they didn't enter a – oh, one is batting for 17. I believe. That's what it is. Do you know one's name? Uh, Allie Kwashnik. Allie Kwashnik. She's a junior. I believe she may be the second pitcher. Okay. I can imagine not wanting to take Parker out of the out of the hitting lineup, so maybe they're changing some pitchers but moving around positionally to keep her in the hitting lineup. She gets her on a called third. We'll take that. Yeah, uh, from up here I would have guessed it was low, but uh, it's hey, hard. We don't have the best angle. We right. don't argue that, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we're not complaining. Not no runs. All. So that's the first inning that we uh, – They're holding them. And we started off the inning uh, – Super solid with two st with a strikeout and then a fly out to Kenna Cook. And then we had a single, a walk, <laughs> and the one play we have no idea. Yeah, I don't happened. know what he called there. I don't know if he just had the count wrong or if it, I don't think it hit her. I don't no. think she threw a pitch that hit her. So. No, I think he might have made a mistake. Sure. Happens to the best of us. Clearly I wasn't paying attention up here, so. Yeah, well, I'm sure if <laughs> me and you are the only ones that were like, what's going on? And nobody else said anything. Right, that's on us. So if my uh, my sister was here, she watches like a hawk. She would have had a clarification from the umpire in about six <laughs> seconds if she thought something was off. And yeah. I know she's listening. She couldn't come today. She, she Maybe just she can explain it to us yeah, in the chat. Right, yeah. What did we miss? Just kidding, Peg. <laughs> we got Berkey coming off as our lead up. Is that... Is that right, or am yes. I wrong? Yep, yep, Lily, Lily Burke. Lily Burke, and they did switch pitchers. So they put oh, they did. Uh, okay, Allie, so Allie uh, Kwasnick. I would have guessed they would have kept Parker in the lineup. Did they put her somewhere else? Well, I think she was still running at first. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of looking around, and I don't Can't quite see, see her yet. I think she might be in right field, to be honest with you. It does kind of look like her. I mean, that's a smart coaching move, right? Like, keep your best bat in the lineup, just move them around positionally. Give another girl yeah, a shot in the circle. That's her. So somebody moved over to second base. Number 11. Oh, she's the flex. Number 11 was the flex. She moved Adelaide? into second base. Okay. Yep. She's a senior. 
We got Berkey coming up to the plate here. When I was coaching her, we called her Becky. Becky with the big hair. <laughs> she would give us a good chuckle, and then she'd hit the ball hard, so I never complained about it. Well, she definitely takes a hack. Ooh. Goes foul there. She definitely does have, uh, you know, Coach Smith has given her a couple names. I think he calls her Diesel. I was I was going to say that. I heard him calling her Diesel the other day. Which, uh, first time he said it, I thought, did he just call her Diesel? And I kind of listened again. He said it, and then I busted out laughing. Yeah. He's always coming up with something. I just, he is hilarious. Yeah. And then the, the, I think it was the very next inning, he called her Cadillac. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was like so she just has acquired all the nicknames. And I was confused about a diesel Cadillac, but maybe they make them. I just uh, never had enough money to have a Cadillac. Oh, well, same. She fouls one back, so we go one ball, two strikes. Berkey's ready to battle, though. Yeah, it'd be nice to get get three, four runs here. Yeah, see, it'd be nice to just see them string some together, right? Rope some together. Just got a 2-2 two -two count. Berkey never looks different in the box, whether it's 0-0 zero, zero or 3-2. She's just like, bring it. Great. Let's go. She hits one hard to the shortstop, who kind of bobbles it a little bit. Still gets her at one. Yeah, shortstop stuck with that nice. She stuck with it. Berkey's quick, but not quick enough on that one. So go one out with a good at bat. You got Jordan Torres up next, our catcher, and she is going to Luther College. She is going to Luther in Iowa, which I think will be a great fit for her. Coaching staff down there is great. That was a nice changeup. That was a good changeup. I don't think he called it. No, no, it must have been low because it was certainly over the plate. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to miss with a changeup low, it's much better than high. Oop. Comes up top shelf now. She takes that one. She got two balls, no strikes. She's looking for her to, mi to miss down the middle, do something with it. Stay in discipline. You can tell she wants to hit, but she's not swinging at the things that she shouldn't. Maintaining her zone. Allie looking to find a strike here. There it is. That 3 0 pitch came right down the middle, but when you're That's down a good by one seven, to take. when you're down by seven, you got to. You got to make them pitch. Hits one over the third base. Shortstop comes over to grab that. That one sounded like it came off the handle. Yep. I'm going to guess it. That was not a comfortable swing for Jordan. We got two outs, our three hitter up. Jordan Schwantz, the shortstop. When Jordan gets into a ball, man. It's gone. Yeah, no, no question about it. She swings hard. She does swing hard every time. She gets it from her mom. That's got to be it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They probably all did. Yeah, she yeah. was pretty aggressive. <laughs> I'll be excited to see Jazzy coming up here next year. Bummer they couldn't get a year together. But yeah, no kidding. They're both fun. Lots absolutely. Of fun. And I had the opportunity to have Jazzy in class. Jordan was the sixth grader just before I got here, but what good kids. Well, three balls. And so Kwajnik is definitely throwing more balls. Absolutely. And I think our, on that note, our hitters have adjusted really well to not chasing them, and they're patient in their at-bats, and they're swinging at the right pitches. So you got to Tip your hat to that because sometimes it's hard to go from such good pitching to like, oh man, do I still have to chase everything? So they've made good adjustments, which is nice. Yeah, well, and you know, I mean, you think about it. so she she uh, warmed up before the game, yep. and then she sat out, you know, a couple yep. innings, and now she comes in, and took five pitches. For I didn't sure. see her warming up. I think she had snuck over to the bullpen over here. 
Is that Mo, Mo hits Mo one Mo high to left Ooh. field there? Mo Kivo hits one that just... Almost spins out of the glove of the left fielder. Yeah. So we're going into the top of the fourth. Is that correct in the book yeah, over there? It is. It is. <coughs> trying to keep track of the scoreboard online and in person here. So making sure I'm not wrong. So we're going top of four. And uh, bottom left corner of the screen, um, you can see First National Bank. Uh, they're a big supporter of, uh, of all the YouTube for all the sports in River Falls. And uh, definitely they work with Kevin Westhouse and make sure that, uh, you know, a lot of this is, uh, you know, a lot of parents are here. But there's, uh, there's a lot of times grandparents don't live close. My mom lives two hours away. Um, can't always, you know, get a chance to watch the game so she can watch it on her computer. Um, I know, uh, you know, prime example, Greg Peters, I think he's down with Dusix. Um, oh, they're at down volleyball, in, huh? Down in Louisville for volleyball. They're, I think they're renting a Airbnb, Airbnb. I'm sure they're having a good time. Um, but uh, but it's super nice that, uh, you know, I, you know next, next week uh, we play Hudson. I'm going to be on a work trip. Uh, I think I'll be in the airport uh, just about time game starts, so I'll be able to to watch it, um, which is which is super nice. You hate to you hate to miss your kid stuff, but it's awful nice to uh, be able to watch it on TV and at least kind of hear what's going on. And they got the broadcast running so fast. We kind of brought it up, and Greg says I'm on it. Kevin was such a supporter, and he's man watching him set all this up and the things that he knows and the things that he can do was unreal. Yeah, I would have been so lost. So super grateful for those two guys who are just out here because they love doing it and they love the cause. And I think that's just super awesome. I'm super appreciative of both of them. Absolutely. So we got number five, the center fielder, Cadence Henderson. She goes high fly in the infield. Mo's going for it. Sticks it for the first out. That's uh that's a nice way to start the inning. That's one pitch, one out. We could take more of that for sure. Yeah, last inning we got the first two uh batters out and then we got a little hairy, loaded up the bases, but got out of it. They battled. This gal went to Schwancy last time, I believe, in the gap. She's ready for it. Throws her low on the first pitch. I guess I forgot to mention in the beginning, I kind of did all this research, but uh, North is uh, one and two in the conference. They started off their, um, they started off right off the bat playing Chippewa Falls, which if, you follow, start. if you follow softball at all, last year River Falls was the first team to beat them, I think in 26 conference games. Yeah, they are always very, very solid. And, um, and River Falls is looking for their first win, uh, played uh, Doubleheader against a tough new Richmond team uh, right off the bat. Um, it's close, but uh, close in both games. I think we were. They only lost by one or two both yeah, games. They were they four, were battling. Yeah, we lost 4-1 and 5-3. Um, so in the game, you know, this is really um, this is really the first game of the year where, you know, we kind of got off to a bad start in the field. Yeah. Um, you know, and give, gave up uh, those five runs in the first inning. But, um, you know, other than other than that, the the field part has gone pretty well. Um, yeah, and that's been consistent <coughs> all year. I think they've done a nice job in the field all year, uh, and holding some pretty big bats to some, you know, some tight run deficits. So. Ooh, nice hit in the hole there. Danny gets it in nice and quick, holds her to one base. She had a single. So that's her third hit of the game. Three singles. That's all it takes. Yep. So we got number 10 coming up here. Claire Gruna, the shortstop. shortstop. Might see her bunt. First pitch strike, we'll take that. Hit that outside corner with it. Just off time on that one a little bit. I'm just glad it went backwards and not back at Yeah, her. no kidding. But it's a strike for her, so she'll take that. So 0-2, see if we can uh, 
Get her to ground out for a double play or something here. Some 0-2 execution maybe. Did you speak that double play into existence here? You know what? I've got to predict more stuff by the way it looks because <laughs> that was, uh, and that was perfect. It was low and outside. Yep. yep. Got a ground Got a ground ball, force at second base. Take one on that play. The batter was safe at first base, but Ava did a nice job there getting the lead runner. It's kind of the first action she's been able to field all day. She's been, they've been kind of hitting around her a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It was clean, it was smart, and then she gets another one. Clean and smart. Nice play, we'll Ava that. Larson. She's done a nice job there. She did a nice job there last year, even as a freshman, and watching her girl there is really cool. Yeah, so we had, we had four batters, uh, three outs. The uh, Kaitlin Hansen, the uh, designated player, that was, I think that was three hits in a row for her, and she sure. came up and did it again. Smith's over there trying to motivate him. Get him going on some offense. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, or he's telling really bad jokes. I'm not sure. <laughs> right? I mean, it could be both. The, uh, yeah, yeah. I, he, he's a motivator. There's no yeah, question about it. I've heard him say a few things, and I was like, all right, yeah, coach, I'm ready. And I'm just standing <laughs> on the sidelines. Like, I mean, wait, what? <laughs> well, that's kind of a hard hard part I found out last Saturday is, you know, um, this is the first year that I haven't coached a youth sport in like 15 years. If sure. you go baseball, and then and then the you know most of these 10th graders, and and well, actually I've coached the two 11th graders too, um, but uh, and then also as a parent, you know, so you kind of want to cheer out to your yep. kid and uh, give them encouragement, or or you you know you want to yell when they. I did a lot of ooh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to bite yeah. your tongue. But. Uh, yeah, but it's it's hard not to interject sometimes. Same thing. I mean, I've been I've coached a handful of these kids, and I had my camera out at all the other games and trying not to say something that distracts them. Yeah, I've got to look at a lot of your photo. You're like semi-professional there, or are just, you professional? Just a hobbyist. Just a hobbyist. Well, a hobbyist. It's, a, it's a big camera. Yeah, it's heavy. I'll tell you, by the end of a doubleheader, I'm tired. Well, the camera looks like it's almost weighs as much as you. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a lot to – the zoom lens on that thing is pretty intense, but it's a, it's a fun time, and New Richmond set up – the last game I was at is just so nice because there's a hill at the end of the field. Sure. So I could sit on the hill and pretty much zoom in on anything. So bottom of fourth, bottom we've of four. got the uh, second baseman, Georgia Bankston, or as uh, Greg Peters JB. reading my band, bad handwriting, called her Georgie. Yeah. Uh, yep. So maybe that will be her new nickname. Georgie, we, we like to call her JB around here. Nice she hit. She a nice rock solid line drive up the center. That was a she solid hit. She got right hit. around on that one. And as I like to say, it goes where it's pitched. So she did a nice job on that. Yeah, Ge you know, and Georgia's been having a really good good year, um, I would say. She's been, she's got a lot of, lot of nice hits. I saw her hit a few up the middle the last time I was at a game, which is nice to see out of her. We got Ava Larson, the uh, sophomore third baseman up. It'd be nice to get three or four runs here. I yeah, think I said that last inning, but. I mean, I'll take them. Yeah. If you could manifest that, that'd <laughs> be great. We need them. Spent a lot of time being right tonight, <laughs> so I would like for that to be right eventually. Ava attempts a bunt there, goes foul on the third base side. Looking to advance that runner. I like that. And Ava's a good bunter. So yeah, I would agree. I like that call. See what Coach Smith has up his sleeve here this round. Got a foul ball running over the baseball field here. Just misses our our fans over there. I'm always uh, I'm always cautious taking a deep breath here. I feel you know I've been on a number of hunting trips with guys that use these CPAP machines. Oh sure. And so if you notice, you take yeah. a little deep breath and it goes. <laughs> 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 Makes all the noises. We got Ava fouling off the balls in the in the batter's box here. Looking for her pitch that she can drive. She's got two strikes on her now. Man, that wind direction changes. It is not warm. It's a chilly wind. Yeah, we're in a, this would be a really nice deer stand. <laughs> and, uh, and and we do have a little, I, I think uh, Leah's got more wind coming to me. I'm kind of hunkered over in this corner. He's hiding. Keeping track of that book over there. I try. To, I try to stand here on purpose so that uh, so that I don't uh, that I don't judge the umpire. I can't see the angle <laughs> of the call. He's been pretty good. I think he's been pretty consistent. I think they've done a nice job calling the game. There hasn't been any 
big debate or big conflict, and I think the conversations they have had, they've gotten them right. So yeah. I won't complain. Not this time around, anyway. So Ava Larson goes down swinging aggressively. Yep. Now we got Audra Ederman, the pitcher up the bat. She's looking for a hit. Listen, she's just racking up the at bats this game. Add another one of those stats. Yeah, this would be. <laughs> this would be. Uh, she would tie her yearly, her yearly bats. Foul ball on the backstop there. Got a 1-1 one, one count. Taking the signs from coach at third base there. Would not surprise me if we bunted. You never know. Shoot. Hits it hard at the second baseman. Goes down for the second out, but she's making contact, so we'll take that. Yep, next is uh, Danielle Pellinger, freshman left fielder. Oh, I see Addie Johnson walking in here. She is the, uh, or was the goalie for the, oh, okay. nice hit. Nice shot in the gap. Gets his runners on first and second. She attacks that first pitch. It's almost like they talked about it. Yeah. I bet they have. Well, she's, a, she's an aggressive player, and, and yep. that's good. She's not afraid to get in here as a freshman and, and swing away. Yeah, Eddie Johnson had been the uh, goalie for the Wildcats soccer team, and then she okay. she tore her ACL in the Powder Puff game last oh, year. Oh, shoot. That's never good. It's tough. Those kids, man, that class goes hard in that Powder Puff game. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Torres broke her finger in the Powder Puff game and then decided she was going to fix it herself and kind of made a nice surgical situation for herself. So yeah. they go hard. They are a competitive class, which is, is fun to watch. Not so fun if you're the parents taking them <laughs> right to the doctor, to though. The doctor. So Meredith Emery, sophomore, a uh, designated player up to bat. So you got a one, two here. Count. Well, definitely got to be aggressive. Anything close. Yeah, absolutely. Don't leave it up to the umpire, right? Foul it off, get a better pitch. That's a good hold. <laughs> she holds on the high ball, hoping to get one a little bit more in the zone here. 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Held off. He pulls the chain on her, so she goes. Matt Smith doesn't seem to question it, so no. maybe he agrees with it. He's got a better angle on the on the plane than we do. Well, I tell you what, I, uh, and I'll give him credit. Uh, he doesn't. He, he doesn't question much. No, he doesn't. Uh, and uh, you know, there was a, I think it was a play in the New Richmond game where the girl made a really nice play on the ball, but it, it looked pretty much like it did a one hop in her glove. Oh shoot! Um, the ump called her out, and that was th I think that was one of the first times that I ever saw him. He just stepped out of the dugout and he said. Do you think she caught it? And they said, yep, and he just turned around. And, you sure. know, it, you've coached a lot. There's a lot of emotions that start yep, happening. Absolutely. And, and to have the ability to just do the right thing rather than let your emotions. Uh, yeah, he's he is very poised all the time, I will say that. He does a nice job kind of maintaining. And we're starting to get a little rain here, so trying to pull in some of the oh. technology here and not lose the Internet. Is it still working on your phone? Can you tell? Yep, we're still live. So we're doing okay. Just try not to get any of it too wet here. You can see people down there kind of taking cover a little bit. So we got the top of the five. Top of five. Top of five. Didn't even have to ask this time. I remembered <laughs> to change it. Yeah, you're doing great. Uh, you know, for those of you that have not had the opportunity to... Uh, see what uh, all this setup looks like. It's uh, it's pretty crazy and pretty intimidating with all the cords and, and wires that go around to make it happen. Um, and uh, I, I mean, I'll just go on record as saying there's zero chance I could do it. Oh, absolutely. I echo that 100%. Even just listening to Kevin explain some of it, I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> but that's why I'm thankful for him. Yes.
Audra's battling a little bit of the elements now with this annoying little misty rain that's coming down. Always makes it hard on the pitcher. Ava's got her back for that fly out at third. Puts one out on the board. Yeah, well, you know, a good, the good thing is uh, we had a little sticky in the beginning of the game in the last three innings. We got the first batter out. Yep. Um, that always helps. Throwing first pitch strikes. We'll take that. Giving up five in the first was tough for us. Without that, where it's, it's a two-run ball game. Right. It's kind of the story of this game, though, isn't it? Yeah. In yeah. general, softball, that's just how it goes. Well, and it makes you press. When, once you get up hitting, you think everybody thinks they got to yep. you know, get a great hit rather yep. than just nickel and dime them. Yeah, too many, especially younger kids, right? They don't recognize you can't do that all in one swing. It's going to take a little bit of stringing together, a little bit of momentum and multiple innings to cover that ground. And you got you have seven of them, so you might as well use them. But this is Madison Pond, the leadoff. She's two for three and a uh, strikeout. Couple there, yeah. She's looking to hit one hard. Just missing on the outside corner from what it looks like. Obviously, it's hard to tell, but it looks close. Yeah, I'd take that on a one-two pitch. Absolutely. Here we go, full count. She's looking to win one in the rain here. Hoping to get her second out. Foul ground ball to the third base side. You're starting to see a few raincoats pop out. Yeah, you are. And the guys that don't have raincoats are uh, kind of tucking and hiding underneath yep. our deer stand here. Some of them are toughing it out. Others are not. Changed pretty quickly from sunny and nice to a little bit windy and rainy. Nice. Gets her looking on that outside corner. That's a great full count pitch. Nice job, Audra. We got Megan Staniford. Uh, oh, no, this is, yeah, Megan Staniford, yep. the uh, uh, first baseman here. Coming up on two outs, nobody on. Hoping to get back in that dugout and stay dry. Put her, put their pitcher back in the circle. Missing up in the zone just a little bit there. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, when you volunteer for something, you think, oh, geez, it'd be a lot easier just to watch the game. But we got it pretty dry in here. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to complain about our spot at the moment. View is good. We're dry. Company doesn't suck. So there's that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're Thanks. welcome. Same. No, it's been good. It's been good. Oh, boy. Yeah, I told my wife, Lynn, I said, I'm excited. This will be fun to do It'll this be, with Leah. Yeah. She's uh, she's kind of a character. She's uh, <laughs> she's way quieter when you first meet her than she is after you talk to her a little bit. Yeah, that's got to get a lay of the land, you know. Gets a dribbler to Ava. Ava's nice got a good play. arm. Nice Three up, three Throws down. Throws her out at first base. We'll take that. So rolling into the bottom of the fifth here. Still waiting for that offense to get going. I think the kids are too. Looking to make it happen. Yeah, like I said, you know, the beginning of the game started off a little rough with five in the first and two in the second, and uh, we blanked them the uh, last three innings, which yep. is which is great. Yeah, and they have, you know, they have good batters. They have good hitters. They know they can hit the ball hard. Obviously, we saw that in the first inning. So to hold them to nothing after those first couple innings is is good for us. Yeah, Our defense turned back on like we've been like we've been talking. They've been playing all year, so it's good to see that back in action. Yeah, and next up is Madison Parker. So not the <laughs> not the easiest uh, not the easiest leadoff. Well, it's a tough leadoff, but I would take that over having bases loaded for her to come up. So absolutely, we'll take it. Absolutely. I think McKenna Cook's dad, Craig, down there. He he may be one of the toughest and in, in people in the environment that I that I see. He doesn't have much for a. Not much for clothes on, and he's just perched out there like an eagle, right in the right in the rain. He's ready to go. Some of the some of the younger high school kids that I see down here, they don't have much for clothes on, but uh, they're a lot warmer than us old guys. Yeah, they're tough, right? Teaching at the middle school, I swear nobody owns a coat. <laughs> Isn't that something? It's just wild. Yeah, where's your yeah. coat at home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Seems like a good place for do it. Do you still have kids? Do middle school kids wear shorts too? Sometimes in the winter. All the time. 
I know. just learned to not question the little things anymore. I'm just like, it doesn't make sense to me, and I'm just getting older by the day, so I'm just... Uh, yeah, absolutely. My mom used to just go crazy when my <laughs> kids would go somewhere with just a hooded sweatshirt, and I'm like, Mom, I've given up on that. Right. Long. They have all the nice coats that they could have. This is called Natural Consequences. <laughs> Berkey hits one hard at the third baseman, hops by her glove. She'll Ooh. get first base out of it, looking for that error throw. Stays at first base, probably a good decision. Yeah, she looked uh, afterwards like she was wishing that she would have maybe acted on that. But, you know, we're down seven. Yeah. Um, She's not the winning run, so no. we'll take a base runner, a leadoff base runner at that, which is great. That ball took a weird weird skip. The third yeah. baseman, I think, thought she had it, and yeah, I kind of did think she She went to backhand it, yeah. and it went right over her backhand. And I think that kind of surprised her. But that brings up Jordan Torres looking to move Berkey around in a scoring position. Jordan Torres has a base on balls and a pop out to the shortstop. Yeah, she had a, she drew a good walk in that inning. Yeah, right off the bat. Look, look good. She made that pitcher work for sure. Was that the same inning Schwancy got hit in the elbow? Yes, yep. Back-to-back -back walks for her, which probably doesn't happen very often. No. Jordan takes a hack at it, goes to the third baseman again. That'll be a fielder's choice. Third baseman chooses to go to first base on that one, so it brings Berkey to second base. One out, and Jordan Schwantz up at the plate. Puts Berkey in scoring position. I think Schwantz is probably hoping to change spots with her. Push one across. Ooh, gets you yeah. on a low strike to start. You know, and I would say, you know, scoring runs has, has really been a struggle for us. Yeah. We, uh, I think we're averaging like 1.7 runs a game. Sure. We only got one, three, and one in conference games. We had yeah. a big game against St. Croix. Yep. Seniors went back to back to back bombs on that game. Yeah. Which was super cool to see. Yeah, no, I don't think I've ever been at a game when that happened. Yeah. And I can just imagine Schwanzi's thought process getting in the box like the two before me had to go yard. Well, here we go. I think I called it out on the broadcast where I said there is nobody in America that wants to hit a ball out after her two buddies did <laughs> as bad as Jordan Schwanzi. Absolutely. That's 100% her personality, too. Like, she is a competitor through yes. and through, which is so fun to see. And having her, having coached her when she was about a sophomore, you know, you just saw that leader come out in her. So not only is she a fierce leader, she's a good competitor. She's somebody you want on your team every time. Oh, yeah. It's doesn't a foul ball over the backstop. Even if you're playing beanbags on Memorial Day oh weekend. Oh, yeah, it doesn't you, matter what you're you, doing. You take her because you know she's not going to She's not gonna say, let's uh, let's take this. She's yeah. She's playing. You could be down 20 to nothing. And nothing she's still is for fun. Everything is for winning. Right. She's got... She's got that mentality. It's almost as if she's got older brothers, you know? Yeah, yeah, a couple tough ones, too. <laughs> Absolutely. I always tease her older brothers, uh, who and my son is really good friends with both okay. of them, and I always say, what's it like to have a sister that can throw harder than you? And they both pitch at Winona State. Yep, uh, yep. I love that. She hits a ball hard but foul to the left side of the field. That one's in the, in the woods. She's hoping to do something but just to about straighten it, it out. Jackie Larson is about, uh, I don't know, what do you think she is? 240 feet away from the batter's <laughs> she's, box. And she's quite a ways, yeah. She cranked that one. We'd prefer if it was straight up. She hits one to center field here. Center fielder takes a good angle. That's a Doesn't allow Berkey to tag. Heck of a throw by the center fielder. Yeah, she knew what she was doing with that ball before it came to her, that's for sure. That's a good at-bat by Schwanzi, though. I'll take, take hard hits every day. Yeah. Mo Kivel, our first baseman. Is up. We got two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Takes the first one. I don't know where that <laughs> one missed. <laughs> it looked pretty but good. I'm okay with it. Yeah, the, the catcher's kind of wondering too. She turned around to ask. She she had a question. She's gesturing to her coach that it missed low. So they're looking to make that adjustment here. Mo's looking to hit it. Nice that hit. One, she hits hard off the third baseman's glove. Brings Berkey to third base. Mo's on one, gives us a first and third situation here, hoping to capitalize and score. Got JB coming into the box. 
Yeah, and you know, I'd say this has been this has kind of been where we struggled a little bit. We get yeah. some runners on the base and 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 don't knock them in. Um, so it'd be good. Georgia had a hit last time. She did a nice hit up the middle too. Base hit scores one, that's for sure. Takes a good hack at that first pitch. Was that a change up? You think? It's I'm not yeah. sure. Her, I don't think I she's throwing many of them, but that wasn't intentionally watching, to be honest. Trying to fix the scoreboard over oh. here. <laughs> I could have done a Greg Peters and just said that was a changeup for sure, and you wouldn't have questioned me because you weren't looking. I guess I didn't. Yeah, think, you, I didn't pro think you probably could have got away with one right there. <laughs> could have got away with one. It looks like the rain kind of let up. That's what I was thinking too, which is nice. Bar bounces hard off the front of the plate. Catcher can't find it. Berkey hesitates and doesn't go. Don't want to take the third out at the plate, probably. Nope, not being down seven. Nope. It's a good decision. She hard lead. Ooh. Takes a called strike here. Got a 2-2 count. That looked like a pitch Georgia would like on the outside, but yeah. not, not all she, the way. I think she thought about it. She wasn't quite sold, so now she's going to battle for, with two strikes, two strike approach. Gets on one, but it goes foul. Pitcher's taking her sign, figuring out what she's going to throw here. Throws it low, so now brings full count. Runners on second and third. Berkey over at three, eager to score. Full count, two outs. Just looking to push one across here. This would be a big uh, momentum for us too. Uh, yeah. Is it trouble? Hits it hard, That's looking trouble. for a gap, hoping for trouble. Center fielder makes a good play. That center fielder covered a lot of ground. Yeah, and I think she read the ball well too. I think she kind of adjusted based on what they're calling and for pitching and took a good angle, covered the ground. Yeah, F8. Prevents We're us from scoring a run again. Whereas originally hit was not too far no. over the second base when that girl ran a long way. She caught it not too far off the infield, did she? Correct. Yeah, that's that's a Bermuda ball, in my opinion. She made good ground on that. Well, that's I, I mean, that's one thing about outfielders, and obviously that uh, center fielder has it. Um, you know, it's easy, uh, you know, to show speed if you're fast. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that can play in the outfield that aren't necessarily super fast. But if they have the jump on it, it, it makes all the difference yeah. in the world. And kind of knowing the pattern of where people are going to go, what the pitches are being called, taking a good angle, all of it matters. So we're coming into top of six here. Hoping for the another shutout inning. Throwing it down, bringing Parker into the plate. Hoping to hold her to minimal damage. Yeah. Well, she's. Uh, let's see. She had a single, a double, and she was the one. We didn't really know what happened. Yeah, I don't. I still don't know. We know it wasn't a hit. We didn't think it was ball four, and we didn't think the ball hit her, but she went to first. Question mark in the book on that one. Yeah. My notes are so scribbly, no one will know if I had <laughs> it right or not. Going low for the first pitch here. She hits it hard to Schwanzi. Schwanzi says, decides not to throw it. Yeah, I think that was a good good call. I don't think she would have got her. Yeah, I think that it was a good call. But if there was anybody I was going to trust to try to make that throw <laughs> with as hard as she throws, I would take Schwanzi. Without a doubt. Yeah, that th they've hit a lot of balls right in the hole. Yeah. I mean, that was not very far off Ava Larson's glove. If no. she could have cut it off, we probably got it. And she went for it. Yeah. Jordan oh. just hits one up. Line drive at McKenna Cook in right field there. She keeps it in front. Gets it into Schwanzi there. Kind of came off her bat and then just died right at McKenna's feet there. 
Not much you can do with that one. Yeah, at first I thought it might carry enough that yeah. she'd have a chance to catch it. She just, you could see it last minute, just keep it in front. We've got Caden, Cadence Henderson, center fielder. Just got done making a really nice catch. Coming in to try to move some base runners around. Audra's trying to maybe prevent that from happening. She has hit it to the second baseman, the shortstop, and flew out to the first baseman. All right. With no, no hits yet. And I, you know, one thing I'm noticing, and, and uh, Caden Sanderson is doing it too, is so split hands. Yeah. Um, a little bit. That's something, you know, back in back in my day, 50 years ago, <laughs> that you, you know, nobody would have done. Sure. But you're starting to see more of that. Yeah. There's a couple of kids that I that I coach hitting with that. I almost kind of recommend it, just in the way that they turn the barrel and the way that they're approaching the ball in their swing. So, I've seen it a little bit more commonly now that that it's coming around again. She hits one in the gap, pushes one across. So Parker scores. So it puts us down by eight here. Yeah, runners in first, second, no outs. I would think this would be a good opportunity for a double play. I'm hoping you're right. And I'd, I'd prefer a, a five three. Ava, Ava, do it herself at third. And yeah, go, that'd be great to see. Go one. Audra starts it off with a, a strike as the batter follows one off into the baseball field behind us. We'll go one one. She hits one hard to little dribbler to Schwansy there. So no double play. We got one out on that. No, it was hit, hit too soft for a double play. Yeah, right? it just kind of dribbled off the barrel there. So Claire Gruno, the shortstop. Looks like she had a K and a fielder's choice so far. And a single. So we got one out. Correct me if I'm wrong. We've got nope. runners on second and third. Yes, one run in, runners on second and third, yep. Working that outside corner and not quite uh, not quite getting it. Not quite where he wants it. She'll keep looking, keep firing. She decides to go in with it. Gets the call there, so we got a 2-1. Gets her swinging with that high ball, so go 2-2 two, two count. Looking to get this one would be a big one. Have two outs, get a force, hopefully prevent them from scoring. Outside brings us to full count. Yeah, and I'd say the batter looks to be fairly aggressive. She thought about swinging yeah, at that. Yeah, I would agree with that. She thought about it, tailed off just a little bit. Perfect. Fly ball to Schwancy for the out. That's what they needed. Looking to get the final out here. We Who got, we got coming uh, to the plate? We got the right fielder, Lindy Haller. Okay. She flew out to center field, struck out, grounded to third. Got it. Defense is hoping to keep a pattern then and get this one and get back in the dugout. Yeah, it looks sunny in Prescott, but it's definitely uh, overcast here now. Yeah. She definitely went on that one, so he calls the strike. Got a one and one count. We got Buster down here, our, our team doggy, with his stroller top up. He doesn't want to be in the rain. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's, oh my a, he's what we would call spoiled. It looks like a dog riding in a uh, 
a dog riding in a car with his yep. nose out the window, yep. but he's in a stroller. Nice, nice. Gets her swinging for the third out. We like that. Nice job, Audra. Yeah, it was one, two, hit the outside corner, um, just like you'd like to see. Got her chasing. We'll take it. So we move to the bottom of the six, if I'm not wrong. You are. You're correct. Should we pop up our our um, Yeah, let's our talk about some sponsors again? here. So, Team Cut, thank you for sponsoring the uh, varsity softball team. The uh, call Team Cut for any um, property needs, selling or buying. And then we've got Johnny's Bar, Dave and Cheryl Dintman, um, all longtime supporters of uh, River Falls Youth Softball, and this year sponsoring the, uh, the high school softball broadcast. Thank you. And River City Stitch. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, they can do anything you need down there. Um, bring them a bring them a white T-shirt, and they'll put your name on the back. Bring them a fancy shirt; they'll put your name on the front or sleeve. They can do just about anything, and uh, you know have everything. Got a store in River Falls, store in Prescott. Um, so always a always a great place to go. And thanks to First National Bank, Jeff Johnson and crew, for sponsoring all the YouTube sports in uh, in River Falls. It's uh, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but you know, I, I don't go to as many high school games as I as I used to, um, but I definitely watch every one. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, you know, I might be on the road for work, and I just sit sit in the hotel room and yeah. watch the girls' basketball game, the boys' football game, whatever it is. So it's it, it's really nice to do. And it took about to the third week of my hitting lessons for kids to be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> well, I'm listening to the basketball game on my phone because the broadcast is up, and they're like, "Oh, I didn't realize you could do that." So it's nice to have. Yeah, we got Mo Kivel here, first baseman. Yep, trying to get something going. We're looking to start us off with some base runners. So Greg's in the chat here saying that River City Stitch is doing a baller of the game, giving out a T-shirt for the trophy. Um, thinking about who is our baller of the game here against North. We might have to take uh, take votes from the uh, from the uh, people watching out there on who the baller of the game is. You know, Greg didn't really mention we'd be doing baller I, of the game. I don't know that right I was now. aware of that either, but he's popping it in the chat. So <laughs> if anybody's got any suggestions, throw it in the chat. I would love to see what you have to say. Well, so we've got Lily Burke with a hit. JT Torres has been on base with a walk. Berkey's had some nice catches in the outfield too, yeah. covering some ground. Schwantz has a hit. Um, Georgia Bankson had a nice hit. Georgia, yes, yeah, she did. Ava hits one high to the shortstop here. Oh yeah, Ava, I just said that was Mo, didn't I? Yep, sorry. We'll forgive you just this one yeah, time. Yeah, jeez. I didn't catch it. Both of those guys are, are good good buddies with my daughter, so you know I would think I would know <laughs> which one they were. I have to be honest with you, I've mistaken them a few times, even just when I'm taking pictures at the field. So I'm all right if they don't have their helmet on, I guess. Yeah, it makes it hard when they're all wearing the same uniform, same helmet. Greg says he just found out today that we're doing a baller of the game, so it's not his fault that we were unaware. Got a high fly that might be trouble. <coughs> Left fielder comes in to, to grab that one. That was Audra, wasn't it? That I, was I Audra, yeah. Over here trying to keep up. So we got two outs, bottom of the sixth. Danny Pellinger, she had a, there was an air to the first, air in the first baseman. I think she might have dropped the ball in the second inning and had a, uh, had a hit in the, oh. There's a good. Ball off the barrel right at the center fielder for the third out of the sixth. Yeah, and you know that's going to look like a fly out in the book, um, but that was a that was a solid hit ball. Oh yeah, that's a line out for sure. But it's all about the process, right? Like you'll take I'll take ten of those in this in the book, then a couple little bloopers. Bloopers. Over. Yep, uh, no doubt about it. It's hard when the, the outcome isn't exactly what you want, but it's such a, a process driven sport and a and a game of failure that you just gotta gotta roll with it. So we'll roll into top of seven here. Top hoping of seven, to we're down eight to zip. Hoping um, to hold them off just like we've been doing since the second or third inning and then 
Maybe a little rally, huh? Yeah, well, that'd, that'd be a heck of a comeback. Sure uh, would. No question about it. Um, you know, for the year, the first three conference games, we've been giving up five runs. Um, and, you know, we've scored 1.7 average. Um, so, you know, so we're probably a little bit behind that uh, right now. Definitely on the giving up the runs. Yeah. And I'm trying to see where North – North has been averaging 3.3 runs, so they're well above that. And they've been giving up 5.3, so that's a big night. But uh, they had a they had a 12 Chippewa Falls put 12 up on them. Yeah, in the first I, I saw their game. first couple of games were some challenging competition. They had Chippewa Falls and Fall Creek, and they had given up a lot of runs in those first couple of games. Yeah, but. Only allowed one against us in the first game. They haven't allowed any yet tonight. So. Yeah, and they held Chippewa to three runs their second game. Yeah. Which is, which is uh, you know, anytime you could do that is good. Yeah. Yeah, that Chippewa team is always pretty solid coming in. So it looks like we have, unless they s switched out. They did. They got somebody new in number six. Got some substitutions. So that's Sammy Schulner. Got a 1-1 count for her. Lincoln Tremaine's in the comments saying, go Cats. I feel like he is a Wildcat supporter through and through. Great Ab kid. Absolutely, he is. He loves the Wildcats, and he supports all the sports. It's Got 3-1 here. Inside. Yeah, I think a little bit down and in on that one is what he was calling. She hits one off the handle there. Goes foul on the third base side. Brings us to full count. Off the handle again. Ava fields that one fair this time. Nice. Throws her over to Mo for the out. Routine, and they made it look that way. Yeah. Other other than the you know other than that first inning, uh, the D has been super solid. Yeah, I would agree with that. Hoping for more of that and a little more offense in the box moving forward here. It's hard. I think they're doing a nice job with you know they have a, a fairly young roster and. They're doing some good things with that. A little throw on the run from Schwanzi. Blue says that Mo picked it up, nice. scooped it for the out. Nice scoop by Mo. She had a lot of she had a lot of dirt in that. She did, but she picked it. That's a good pick. And that is uh, second second out of the game, second out of the inning. I think that's the that might be the third inning where we've got the first two. Now we got a high fly out. ball between left and center. Danny's underneath it for the catch. Three up, three down. That's the second inning in a row for that. Now let's get some office and offense in action. Yeah, so coming up, uh, you know, here we go. This is uh, this is it. Uh, we gotta we gotta go eight runs. Um, uh, starting off with the DP uh, Meredith Emery. And she's batting for our right fielder, McKenna Cook. So it'd be pretty sweet to start off uh, with her, um, you know, with her getting on base. That would be good to start with base runners. I'm sure she's thinking the same thing getting into the box here. Yeah, yeah, without Being a doubt. Being a lead off in the bottom of the seventh. Feel like we haven't gotten a ton of base runners tonight, but the base runners that we have gotten, we've kind of left stranded. So looking to go to work with that. Yeah, uh, you know, I said earlier it's been kind of our Achilles' heel, really, yeah. um, getting getting a couple runners on and, and just not getting the hit to to knock them in. But you know, it's early in the year. We played a we played a tough New Richmond team, um, and then uh, and then going.
I know we're supposed to give one. Had a clarification from Steve, Steve Pellinger. Our camera guy. He's yep. got questions I can't answer. So any uh, any people pop into we the haven't chat had any on suggestions? We haven't had any suggestions in the in the chat yet. So waiting for those to come through on a ball or the game here. Because so Greg says Callie down at River City Stitch is going to make us up some T-shirts for that. One of our sponsors just helping us out again. So we got a leadoff strike here to Meredith. She's looking to attack one she can put into play here. Down 0-2. I can see Buster's stroller down here is packed full of stuff and he's on the move. Good aggressive swing anyway. Um, I'm not sure if the catcher thought that was the uh, third out. It was only the first out. She kind of <laughs> rolled, rolled it back. She got excited. Um, they got a new catcher in there, I believe, 20, number 21. 21. So that's the that's Lindy Hotler, who I think was in right field previously. Or was she in the outfield previously? Um, Lindy Holler. Yeah, she was playing right field. I think she must have come back behind the plate when they took the – Maddie Parker – or when they took Parker out. So far for players of the game, we have one hit by Danielle Pellinger, one hit by Georgia Bankston, one hit by Morgan Kivel, one hit by Schwantz, and one hit by Lily Burke. So <laughs> I'd say right pretty even split across yeah, the board there. Right now the baller of the game could be could be up for uh, who gets a hit. Berkey is trying to go for another one here. She grounds to third base. They get her on the toss across the diamond. Yeah, and she hit it to third last time, but just skipped it over the. Yeah, uh, indeed. Skipped it over the glove. Well, we're down to our down to our last out, Leah. We are Jordan Torres. I'm sure she doesn't love that being in that position, but she's ready for it. Oh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think Jordan thinks that she's going to get out. I'm sure she's thinking, that was change up there. I'm sure of that. Um, haven't seen that. That one had some funky spin to it, too, yeah. but a little bit further up in the zone than maybe you'd want to change up, but he calls it a strike nonetheless. So we got a one and one count. Jordan's ready to hit. She's hoping to get on for Jordan Schwantz behind her. She oh. hits one hard but foul over to the hill over there. Yeah, she got she a good barrel on that. Definitely got on. I don't I don't think it was far enough to be oh maybe. I don't know that it would have gone out, but it would have been a tough ball to play. It would have been a double for sure. Yeah. Their their infield's playing pretty short other than right field. Yeah. So she hits another one hard to the left side, but it goes foul. Stays in the fence this time, but it goes foul. Well, if the game was 1-1 uh, one, one or 2-1, I guarantee you their coach would be backing up the left fielder right now. 100%, yep. And I don't know that the left fielder has changed positions at all. No, she didn't adjust at all for that long She long She did not. And she's playing, you know, off the line a, a fair amount. They're sneaking in on her more and more, and I just question that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I'd play it safe now, but. Maybe the coach is aggressive and thinks we'll take away the short ones and make, them hit a, make, there you them, go. make us hit it over them. I suppose with no base runners, it's not going to hurt you. Right. Nice. She hit. hits one hard up the middle just over the pitcher. Reaches first base on that hit. So add Jordan Torres to the list of people who have one hit on the night. Right. Yeah, and the odd thing is I had to skip all over to find those hits, which is 
um, you know, one reason we've we've struggled to score. We haven't we haven't just haven't strung strung things together. Yeah, that definitely definitely would help us. So Schwanzi gets in, looking to push Jordan around the base path a little bit. Gets a first called strike on her. Jordan takes another one, visibly frustrated because she wants to hit the ball. Instead, she's getting hit. Yeah, that's two times in this game. It is. She's not frustrated because it hurts. She's frustrated because no. she wants to hit. Yeah. She wants her opportunity. She wants that pitcher to throw it to her. So that brings up Mo here. Sophomore first baseman. Also a key uh, key player on the fusion hockey team. That's that what I've heard. I've heard she's a good good hockey player. Yeah. Her are her and Alexis on the same Her and Alexis are line? on the first line. Okay. I think I think it's Trinity Middle. Okay. So oh, Kibble hits a wow. liner, but the third baseman does catch it for the final out of your game today. Well, well, um, so that is uh, that is the end. Um, we got, uh, you know, if you're looking up at a major league scoreboard, not our scoreboard, of course, <laughs> um, that has like nine there's light about, balls there's in There's about it. nine working light balls yeah. in there. We got a yeah. score of eight zero on it. Yeah, we're working on that. But um, so we come up short, um, had, a, had a couple rough, uh, rough first inning. Second inning was not, uh, was not terrible, um, but gave up those seven runs. Um, Five in the first and two in the second uh, definitely put us in a hole. Um, I don't know with my scribbling that I can run across and, and let you know where all that scoring came in. But the uh, other than the first five I batters. Think, yeah, I think the first five batters are really what kind of did the damage there. And yeah. consistently number two and three are, are hitting the ball hard and pushing getting on base and everybody behind him is pushing him through so yeah Madison Parker batted four times yeah had, had three yeah. hits <laughs> yeah I she's mean, she had just she has scored three of the runs yeah she's um, a stud she does well in the circle she does well on the base path she hits the ball hard but yeah. she's you know there's players around her that are playing well and our defense really turned around and and I think they probably played error free ball after that first couple innings yeah I, yeah which is I'd great say to after see the first inning actually played yeah with such a young team you know, having just a couple of errors makes a b makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's a lot cleaner score sheet when you get over the right side of the page. And yeah, and absolutely. Uh, it definitely. Uh, you know, I think um, definitely a decent hitting team. Um, I think one of the things coaching staff has been working on Audra is to control her walks. Sure. Um, and de I think she did a much better job. Yeah, I think she only um, had a couple tonight. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of glancing through. There's so much ink. It, it, it'd be There's one I can remember for sure. Yeah, it'd be nine o'clock tonight before I before I would Decipher really give the you code. guys a, a big uh, rundown of everything that happened there. But yeah. um, so we got our camera over there catching our our team huddle. Yeah. Please. Well, I'm. I'm Probably sure, uh, debriefing everything and having a similar conversation about those first couple innings. Yeah, can and how we, you uh, eliminate that and what it changes for you. Can we thank our sponsors again? Let's before do that. We, uh, before we sign off for the night. Without them, this isn't possible. So we do appreciate yeah, it. Without a doubt. So Team Cud Property Executives, thank you for sponsoring the uh, softball broadcast. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And Johnny's Bar, David Cheryl Dintman. Um, always big supporters of youth softball and now high school softball. Uh, it couldn't have, uh, a lot of this uh, resurgence in uh, River Falls softball would not have happened without them helping us. Yeah, key element there is the youth. They invest such so much in the youth softball program, which is awesome. And River City Stitch, thank you, Callie, for, uh, for all you do. It's, uh, you know, River Falls doesn't really have a lot of places to go shopping for no, clothes. No, it doesn't. Um, and it's Especially one River Falls gear. And it's one reason where, uh, you know, my wife is, we go on vacation, and I, I she, her one rule is I can't bring River Falls stuff because that's pretty much what I wear, <laughs> wear uh, seven days a week as it's long as I'm not to on a kids in sports. And yeah, if I'm not on a conference call, I have a River Falls uh, shirt on that uh, more than likely came from River City Stitch. I'd say there's a 90% chance, so thank you. And she's also jumping in to sponsor our 
Baller of the Game, which is awesome. Going to get those kids some T-shirts for Ballers of the Game. So we appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, and thank you again uh, to First National Bank, Jeff Johnson, and, and uh, all the people that work down there. Definitely uh, appreciate uh, all the support for all the all the YouTube across all of River Falls sports. So the biggest thing now will to know if uh, Leah knows the directions on how to actually. I stop do. This I broadcast. actually do know how it works, and we just have to decide on a baller of the game, and that might be a conversation. I think we had Berkey on the list, and we had. Um, uh, Danielle Pellinger. Georgia, Danielle, yeah, they're all good opportunities here. Good picks. Any uh, any any suggestions in the chat at all? No suggestions in the chat. Greg just asked if we if Danielle had two hits, um, but I don't think we had anybody with two hits. We did. She did. She was very aggressive in the box. She had some plates in the field. She did have a good up, hit up the middle, but same with Berkey. I would agree with that. So yeah. it's a tough choice today. Well, being that I'm a retired coach. And you're still an active coach. I, I think you would have a better uh, a better idea of who the uh, of who the ball is. Again, <laughs> Leah's looking at sure, me. Sure, sure. Kind of side eyed. <laughs> um, instantly, when when it got brought up, my gut went Berkey. Just her coverage in center field. Um, but I don't want to discredit any of the other work that those kids were doing in the box against a really good pitcher. Um, good aggressive hacks and and some good contact. So I think Berkey was my my initial choice, but. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, anyway. have a hard, I'd have a hard time voting against that. Um, definitely a, a leader out in the outfield. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, ran down some balls. Yeah. But, again, not to discredit anybody's work in the box against a good pitcher and making good efforts and aggressive hacks out there, which is good. Yeah. Well, so. good deal. Perfect. So so we'll sign Le her off, Leah huh? F Leah Fletcher has uh, just made the call that Lily Burke will be – the River City Stitch baller of the game. So congratulations, Lily. Um, Becky with the big hair, as I would call her. Becky with the big hair, the Cadillac, the diesel. Yeah, uh, she's got all the nicknames, yeah, doesn't she? It'd be interesting to know what nicknames all the, the her classmates have for her. I too. don't think I want to know. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for joining tonight. Um, I believe we will be back here Tuesday night broadcasting against Hudson. Um, Perfect. Just a little idea on Hudson. I don't know how they did today. Um, but they started off the season super strong uh, with two wins against Eau Claire Memorial. Uh, they won the first game 13 to one and the second game 12 to two. Um, then on Tuesday night, they played Chippewa Falls, you know, which we've mentioned um, as a, you know, a, a really good team and lost five to 12. Um, but they're, you know, so their average so far through the first three games, they're um, averaging 10 runs a game and they've been giving up five runs a game. Um, so I'm sure they will uh, they will come in come in hitting hitting. And That's always a game for us though. Like our kids are always wanting to compete with them and they want to play against them hard and they want to beat them. So I think they're going to come locked and loaded for that one. Yeah, I hope so. I agree. Well, Leah, this has been a, a, a just a joy for me. Yeah, it's absolute fun, pleasure. Uh, fun pleasure. listening to you when we get someone like Peters back and. Um, and you and I can't do it. I'm going to have to sit next to you in the stands just so, <laughs> I can, just so I can hear all your expertise. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to having Greg back. He's he's the expert here, but this has been a, a good time. Weather d wasn't awful, so no complaints. But 